Ja, vielen Dank, lieber Herr Professor Matschulat. Hier Professor Matschulat, hier Kollege Ronny Weiner, thanks. Many thanks. This is our Vice President of the Work Environment Work Group and actually having his office in this very building. So it's a very good coincidence. Frank Vogel and also in the regional parliament, we know each other. I'm very glad to be, to have given, to have been given the opportunity to speak here, and I'm very happy to see that it has become a tradition of having these climate days. Fifteen years ago, we started it. Now it's the tenth event. An organization, any any event can be organized at short notice and in the short run. But when having the 10th climate days, then you actually see that there is a general big interest in the topics about in terms of can we save our climate? You know, we do not know actually what is done by man, what's ant anthropogenic on the one hand, and, and what is the general climate change without the influence of uh, humans. So many of these issues and topics are tried to be answered with uh, a lot of speculation more or less so in any case it's a rather it's rather certain that it is a complex subject and it's very useful and wise to use the scientific experience and knowledge of the researchers and to bring together researchers, uh, specifiers and uh, administrations in order to join efforts, to, in order to come to joint knowledge and joint experience in order to develop regional adaptation strategies. I must tell you that we as the Free State of Saxony have been dealing with that for quite a long time. In 2009, we started strategies for agriculture, adaptation uh, strategies for agriculture, and this morning in MDR Info, uh, the public chain, radio uh, broadcasting chain, they were discussing the, these climate days and uh, trying to ask why do we actually have this, do we have answers, what's the background, and I must say so in the public is a kind of general outline. It's not about uh, having something that is today more important than yesterday. No, it's a general process. It started in the past. It's continuous. It's a steady process. It's worth while discussing this topic to bring together uh, up-to-date experience and knowledge and research findings. But it's not just this one publication or this one event or symposium, but it's a general process. The climate is here in Annaberg. I'm very glad to see that it actually is organized here in Annaberg. I'm very glad to be here in the Ore Mountains, this wonderful region. Uh, you know, uh, Dan Vogel as district administrator, I'm happy to be here. And we know that this region is a kind of um, crossing of a lot of uh, various uh, streams, also weather streams, weather flows in terms of climate change. It's not just about weather itself, it's also about the consequences the vegetation, municipal uh, planning, and in the end, what can agriculture or forestry do in order to protect the people from extreme events. And so in Saxony, we actually learned our lesson. We, had, uh, we have had quite a, a lot of not so happy experience so many things already at this point to for the discussions being held, for the interventions being made, many thanks to the organizers which show such a commitment as already mentioned. I'm very proud to see that I as the foundation president of the Foundation of Environment and Nature can take such an active and big part 
in this expert event and I see that this expert team having come together here is a very good discussion forum also in terms of political dis uh, decisions to be made during the years to come. When the climate day started 15 years ago, climate change in the free state of Saxony had already been an important issue and topic. Saxony was not the or was one of the first uh, regional lender of Germany, starting first uh, or commissioning first researches for climate impacts, regional climate impacts, and so we can say that meanwhile we have a very good picture of what has been in the past, was in the past, and what is to come. We know there are certain consequences. We don't know, are they isolated extreme events, or is it part of a general climate change? Heavy rain is a common thing, long droughts in regions where we have lighter soils, and we, we know the impacts on agriculture and farming and where we need to find answers how to adjust ourselves to this in the future. That means in terms of lessening erosion in growing crops, uh, better, uh, better suited for longer droughts. This is also true for our forest strategy 2050 in terms of the species mix and the general reconversion of the forests in Saxony in order to have well adapted tree species. A lot of hectares every year are converted for climate change mitigation. Also in terms of the reservoirs, the and have making their contribution to lessening the impacts of floods. And also agriculture is, as is required to adjust to this and contribute to the mitigation of climate change. And that is why such adaptation strategies and impact researches are one of the four pillars. The other three pillars is a reduction of greenhouse gas observation of uh, climate development and the uh, research and extension of cooperations and team working networking and this these climate days today are part of in terms of the reduction of the greenhouse gases section actually has as a target the reduction by 2020, a reduction by 25% in comparison to 2009. The, the delivery of climate knowledge is done by the regional climate information system, REIKIS, and every person interested, interested, every citizen interested, can has access to the data placed ready and made available by REIKIS in order to provide provide necessary information for stakeholders and local actors. It's and also beyond the limits of Saxony and Thuringia. A geo-guide is being set up meant to increase, to improve the convenience and user-friendliness of the system. Together with the uh, experts and specialists of the State Office for the Environment, Geology and the Agriculture, we work together and I personally pay much attention to transfer of knowledge in Saxony. We have an excellent research tissue, we have universities of worldwide renown and in this area we have a scientific basis that is actually above average which is and should network 
with other expert teams, with companies meant to use the knowledge provided by the expert teams in order to make climate-relevant developments. And also the administration is an important factor. And this is a part of my day-to-day -day job, agriculture and agriculture engineering. Here we have a lot to do and we can even better, all the way are good. Climate change and water management, and water resources, Klebes, is a research project we run in Saxony. We had a look into the long-term effects of climate change, looked into the water balance, not only for the actual uh, condition, but also for future scenarios. I think this is a very good example for the networking between science and stakeholders in the environmental area. Meanwhile, users can define themselves the framework required, this the requirement set in order to make their own analysis. Since April, in the water management portal made available by the state of Saxony, this model is integrated there and, and it has award, been awarded a prize among 65 candidates as a very innovative approach. So RACUS, this data system, is one of the many innovative approaches and projects we set up on a networking basis. We will learn to know further networks. And we want to integrate further the municipalities, the communities. The city of Dresden tomorrow will give us a general uh, uh, progress report where they are in terms of implementation of the adaptation strategy. And this is part uh, or could be helpful also for other cities and towns in Saxony. Local Adapt, the EU project is also important, the Technical University of Dresden and our Environment Office of Saxony uh, work together there in order to find ways to integrate climate adaptation better into the tools and day-to-day -day work of administrations. The Office for Environment, Geology and Agriculture will start a new project in terms of communication strategies related to climate issues. And the format of the, uh, and this will also be helpful for the format to be. Uh, developed for the climate days of Annaberg, where we are today. But this is future, and for the moment I wish you a lot of success for the 10th climate days here in Annaberg, a lot of well, a wealth of experience and exchange, exchange of knowledge and experience, and my congratulations as to the 11th anniversary, uh, the 10th part anniversary of the, of this event. I'm very happy and I hope that this development will continue also in the future. It's very important, it's a good development. It is useful, important for our state of Saxony. We need this exchange. Many thanks. All the best.